What's up guys, it's Kurt with Team Absolute Awesome. Today we are going to be doing some combos featuring Kara Curry, and then I'm going to be getting you guys a deck profile at the end of the video, so make sure you stick with me for that. So, this particular combo is going to be ending on an especially nasty board, and you'll see what that is at the end of the combo. So first we're going to start off by summoning Despot 03, and we're going to activate his effect. That's going to summon out Despot 01 from our deck. Next up, we're going to Link Summon using these two. Let's go into our Crystron Needle Fiber. We're going to activate his effect. That's going to special out another copy of Despot 01. And we're going to Link Summon those two together. And that's going to get us our Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon. His effect's going to activate. On Summon, he brings out three Mecha Phantom Beast Token, level 3 Wind. And that's going to trigger both of our Despot 01s to summon themselves back from the graveyard. So next up, we're going to synchro these guys off. And we're going to bring out our first Karakuri Beret. And activate his effect on summon. And that's going to get us our Sizen. And Sizen and our last token is going to bring out our second Beret. That Beret's effect is going to activate. It's going to get us our Gamma, number one. We're going to synchro those for a Burrito. Burrito's effect's going to activate. Get us and get rid of those for another Burrito. That Burrito's effect is going to get us yet another Gamma. Next up. This is when the Curry Curry Cash Catch in our hand is going to come into play. We're going to go ahead and activate that. We're going to target our Gama. We're going to search for our Inishichi. <coughs> this is going to go to defense mode. Cash Catch is going to be resolved. And now both of our Beredos are going to trigger. It's going to draw us two cards. Oh, yeah! So next up, we're going to synchro these guys off. And we're going to go into our Beret Boo. This effect's going to trigger, which is going to get us our Nishipachi. Next up, we're going to synchro both of these guys off for a second copy of Burebu. His effect's going to trigger, and that is going to get us another Inishichi. So next up, we're going to use our additional normal summon that we gained from Nanishi over here. It's going to give us an Inishichi. We're going to use his effect. It's going to search for a copy of Car Curry Gamma Oil. Next up, we're going to overlay our two level 9s. That's going to give us our true king of all calamities. We're going to put him in defense mode, because we're always playing around Lightning Storm. Then, we're going to synchro these two off. Summon our Cherry Beast, again, in defense mode. At this point, we're playing around Lightning Storm. We're also making it so if he gets his effects negated somehow, or if he gets kaiju, we're not going to get lightning stormed into the next year. Uh, we're going to activate Gamma Oil. We're going to use this to target our Sizen from earlier in the combo. We're going to summon him back. Next, we're going to Synchro Sizen with our Inishichi. That's going to get us a copy of Nichiria Barkeon. So this is the end of the first combo. I'm about to show you another one that you can do. But this one ends on, as you can tell, Nichiria Beast, Barkeon, True King of All Calamities, and Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon. So your opponent can't really play the next turn, and uh, you know you still have two cards at hand from the Pareto draws. Alright guys, for our second combo today, we are going to be using Deep Sea Diva, Inishichi, and basically any form of extender. So for this one we're using Iron Call because it's a 3 of that I play, so this is probably the most likely one to occur. So we're going to start, we're going to normal summon our diva. we're going to activate her effect, we're going to grab another diva, And we're going to throw them away and get a needle fiber. So, needle fiber is going to do the exact same thing it did last time, and get it to Despot 01. And then we're going to link those off. We're going to summon out an Auroradon, we're going to get three tokens. And then we're going to get our dust bot back. Next up. Again, same thing as last time. 
be getting rid of these guys. Going into our beret, which is going to get a sizing, which is going to get us another beret. And that beret is going to get us an Anishi. <coughs> now, we're not going to be using our additional normal summon yet because we do need those zones open. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to overlay these two. And we are going to summon out Draco Sack. We're going to activate his effect. It's going to give us two tokens. And those tokens are going to allow us to summon our Despot 01 back. Then we're going to immediately get rid of him again. And we're going to synchro for our third and final Bray. Bray's effect will trigger. It'll get us a Gamma from deck. Gamma and that beret are going to make a beredo. Holy Christ. I'm sorry about all the Facebook notifications, guys. That beredo is going to get us another Gamma from deck. Now we're going to use our first Gamma. We're going to banish it from grave. It's going to allow us to target a card curry we control and change its battle position. So we're going to change that to defense mode. We're going to get to draw off a beret. Okay, so we're going to put that back because that's literally the only card we can't draw into at this point to continue the combo, so anything else is fine. Okay, so now then, we're going to synchro these two off, we're going to summon out our Beret Boo. We're going to activate Beret Boo's effect, and it's going to get us a copy of Gamma, and that is why we could not draw into it. So. Next up, we're going to use our normal summon for our initiate chain. We're going to activate this effect, and we're going to search out a copy of Gamma Oil. So, next thing we're going to do is we are going to free up some space by making the Cherry Feast. Next up, we're going to activate our Gamma Oil. We're going to use that to bring back a Pareto. the burrito and the gama. That's going to get us our second copy of Bray Boo. Now, Bray Boo is going to summon from deck our lone copy of Misamu. We're going to overlay our two level nines for our calamities. And then we are going to Iron Call back our Sizen once again, and then we are going to synchro these two off, and that's going to get us a copy of Orwood Savage Dragon, Ooh. and we're going to activate his effect and equip our Needle Fire. So that is going to be the end of the second combo, and uh, next we're going to show off the deck list. This ending board gives you infinite amounts of spell negations, one Omni negation, uh, basically a better version of skill drain and then for the follow-up on next turn uh, since they're not gonna be able to do much you've got two different forms of removal to remove whatever kind of cards are in your way and then you've got a little over 8,000 damage on board just between these three monsters alright guys so this is the deck list I'm gonna give you a brief uh, card by card so We've got three cockadoodle do. It's a free special summon and it's a tuner, so it helps jam your needle fiber. We've got three deep sea diva. Uh, again, one card needle fiber. Three, or sorry, two despot ones and three despot threes. Uh, as you saw in that first combo, these cards are incredibly important. Uh, three gamas sucks to draw, but very important. Three nanishi uh, important for extending. Three inishichi. Uh, it searches out your Gamma Oil, and that makes it incredibly important. Um, one Nisamu, this card can be cut if you want to cut it, but it does give you easy access to Warlord Savage Dragon at the end of your combos just to solidify your boards. Two Sizen, uh, you need to play two if you're playing this build, because if you draw one and you're only like playing one, you can't combo at all. Uh, Tiny Spirited Hara, play this for the same reason as Cockroach Doodle Doo. Called by the Grave, you play this for the same reason that... Uh, Every other combo deck plays it. Don't need to explain that too much. Three Iron Call. It's a free extender. It's a, uh, you know, target a level four lower machine special summon it so long as you control a machine. And this deck is basically all machines, so that condition is met quite frequently. 
three card curry cash catch. Uh, this is one of the best spells. Once you add any level four or lower card curry, it also triggers your Beretta. Gum Oil is essentially a premature burial. Uh, it's a once per turn, which is why we're only playing one, but you can search it very easily, so it's cool. Uh, Monster Reborn, perfect fit for combo decks. And Avarice is in here because if you get your board broken somehow or you get Nibiru'd, you do need some kind of recovery to be able to try again. Onto the extra deck, playing one Borload Savage Dragon, Triple Beret, Triple Beredo, Double Beret Boo, Beast and Barkeon, Draco Sack, Calamities, Needle Fiber, and Aurora. And then for the side deck, we've got Triple DD Crow, Triple Droll and Lockbird, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Lightning Storm, and Triple Impermanence. If you guys have any kind of questions about the deck, uh, just ask us in the comments. We'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to have more content coming back to you guys soon. Sorry it's been so long. Hope you enjoyed. And this is Kurt, signing out.